of Destiny and you already know what's going on. You already know that you're checking in with Beyond Beauty. Okay? And let's just jump right in. Let me let y'all know. I'm already sipping on my tea from TLC. Lemon flavor. Make sure you get yours. I'll drop the link below. Get your tea. Have a detox. Clean your body. Okay? Get those toxins out. Okay? Have to make sure that you take care of yourself and your health. Okay? That's first thing first. Get your tea, sweetie. Okay? So, today I'll be talking about dancing, okay? Now, this video has been requested. So many people ask me this question. What made me start dancing? How I started? Who inspired me? Everything. So, today i am give y'all the whole spill, okay? So, first thing first, I think I should start off with the great question. Why do I love to dance? Okay, that's that's the that should be the starter, okay? Because that, that's what we be talking about. So, oh, I'm so excited, okay? <laughs> so... I just wanted to say that dancing isn't just a hobby for me. It isn't even just a passion for me, okay? To me, I call it a God-given gift, okay? I feel like certain people, they may learn how to dance, you know, they may learn or have this, you know, gift, but if it's, I feel like dancing is my calling, if that makes sense. It's deeper than just me moving and me just, doing it because it gets a lot of attention, doing it because, you know, it's fun, stuff like that. It's okay to do that, but it's deeper for me, okay? Dancing is more than just getting the attention for it or having fun for it. You know, I do those things. I have fun, I post, you know, I have a lot of supporters, but that's not the only thing that keeps me going or keeps me motivated to continue to do it. Because as you see, certain people, they start off doing it and then they're not doing it anymore. Because it's not their, you know, their everything. To me, dancing is my everything, okay? It's my God-given gift. You ever saw somebody dance and they have all the moves, they can do all the tricks, they can do everything, but they're missing that spark. They're missing that light, that, that thing that makes them just pop out versus everybody, you know? And I feel like that's what separates me from a lot of dancers because I don't just do this because it's fun. I'm gonna be seen, you know, that's good, that's bonus, but that's not why I do it. I do it because it's, it's everything to me. It sets me free from just life itself. It gives me a voice when I can't even speak. <laughs> it allows me to take control of all my emotions. I can be whatever I wanna be when I dance. And I can act like whoever I want to act like when I dance. You know, I never had so much control over emotions like I do with dancing. And what I mean by that is, if I want to be happy when I'm dancing, I can be happy. If I want to, you know, be a, a sad character, I can be sad. You know, if I want to be an angry character and dance angry, I can be angry. I can be whoever I want when I step into my dancing zone. Okay? So that's why I continue to dance. Who inspired me? Um, to continue dancing, I would say God and seeing how far you can go with it through other people, okay? Um, I never had one certain person that just made me want to, I never wanted to be like any other dancer. I always admired the level that they were at, if that makes sense. Like, I love a lot of dancers. I love them. But it's not because of, you know, I want to be like them or anything like that. It's because I see how far you took it and I saw how hard you worked and I saw how amazing, like how much you put into this. And it's like that, that thing right there, that inspires me. The fact that you're grinding, the fact some dancers that move to different states and stuff just to, you know, get their dream and hopes of becoming, you know, a professional dancer that inspires me grinding working motivating like that is what inspired me to keep going knowing that they have other people out there that have a dream like mine and they got it that inspires me so any dancer that i surround myself around like any dancer that i surround myself around i love them because i was like wow look how much you putting into this look how hard you're working and then not only just because they're a dancer, but their mindset, you know, how positive, how uplifting they are. 
that is some things that keeps me like, okay, I can do this. I'm inspired by that. Like, I love Beyonce. Everybody know that. I love Beyonce. But it's not because, you know, you never hear me say, I want to be just like Beyonce. I want to be just, no, I don't. I want to work for Beyonce. Because I love how she is. I love how she treat her dancers. It has been shown how she treat her dancers has spoke out and said how she treat them. That's what I love. How she give credit and love to her dancers and respect and how she love the art of it. She love how we all come together and we all have different stories. That inspired me. But I never want to be like nobody else because nobody has my gift. Nobody's like me. And I'm like no I'm not like nobody else, you know. I can't steal their gift. I can't, you know, do whatever they're doing. But it's something special about me and I know that. And what I know is dancing is my calling. I know I have other things that I will accomplish. You know, I'm in school, I have my own business, I have my own organization, or I can't even talk, my own organization. I know that I have other things that is great about me, but I know that dancing is gonna be where I touch the most people because it's gonna open so many doors for me to inspire and for me to impact somebody else's life. Other things that I'm doing right now, don't get me wrong, they are going to open doors for me to inspire others. They're doing it now. But I know with dancing, I'm gonna be able to be on bigger platforms and tell those little girls and those little boys, like, you can do it. Look where I come from. Look what I've been through. Look what I did. And I'm here. So I know you can do it. And that's why I started dancing because I know that I'm here and I put on this world, on this earth to inspire somebody else to be great. That's why I say be beyond beauty, be beyond the face. I could be pretty all day, but if I'm not helping nobody else, if I'm not improving my mind, my soul, my spirit, all that could go out the window. So that's why I love dancing because it's deeper for me than all the extra stuff. But I love, I love my supporters. And I love doing what I do. I love inspiring people without even talking. Moving my body, dancing, and inspiring somebody else to step out and be great. I done did my job. And I want to continue doing my job. So that's why I started. That's, that's how I get inspired as well. When did I start? I've been starting. I started dancing when I was a little girl. I'm not trained by any professional, you know, I didn't stay all my life since I was three, no. I went to a performing arts school, you know, where I'm from. I went there for like a few months and I was out, you know, because I was always on dance teams, you know. I was in the performing arts school, you know, I got trained for like jazz and hip hop. I got out after a few months, I made my middle school dance team called the Tigerettes. Then I went on to being a part of my high school dance team, the Sugarettes. And then I went on to college and I stopped perfecting my craft with myself. I'm I'm not trained by anybody else. I'm not, you know, nobody ain't just take their time and train me. I'm self-taught. That's what we call it, self-taught. I'm self-taught. You know, I just motivate myself to keep going and know that there so much I could learn and so much I could know. So why stop at just the bare minimum? That's not me. Because this is my life. This is what I want to do. This is not, I just don't want to do this just because I can do it. Some people do it and they stop and they go on with whatever their purpose is. And there's nothing wrong with that. But this is where I'm supposed to be. This is where I always felt a connection to. Um, that's why I started dancing. That's how I get inspired. Um, what's some other things about dancing? Um, yes, I have um, tried out for dance teams. Yes, I have been told no before. Yes, I have been told yes before. I have went through everything. I had my first real audition. You know, kind of, kind of audition. Um, this year. <laughs> and I've been dancing for a very long time. So, you know, because in Louisiana, that's where I'm from, Louisiana, we don't have, you know, a lot of opportunities. That's why when we get those opportunities, we love them because we're so hungry. We want that. We want those opportunities. That's why we like to travel. And they and we, we stand out because this is not just a game for us. It's passion. It's love. It's dedication. It's, it's a God-given gift, you know? Um, there's some other stuff about dancing that I like. Um... 
some of my favorite dancers. Um, I have several favorite dancers. Um, it depends on the style. Um, if you're talking um, hip hop, Bankhead, you know, his flow. If you're talking um, jazz, um, what's her name? Oh my God, I just started following her. But once, I'm going to look up her name and I'm going to put it down below so y'all know who I'm talking about. But she's a, a great jazz dancer, very technical trained. Um, if you're talking collegiate level, it's so many for collegiate, you know. Um, and you know what? I saw y'all, my camera cut off. But like I was saying, for Bankhead... Um, hip hop. Um, <laughs> I know her name. It's hard thinking of dancers like right off the top of your head like this. Um, I see her face. I think I think it starts with a a D account. Hope she pop up. Ah! I can't think. <laughs> Why I can't find these people's name? Okay, listen. I cannot find her name in like, yeah. But she's amazing. I'll put her name below. She's amazing. Um, All styles. Like hip hop and like. I haven't seen her do anything else, but I'm pretty sure she might be advancing that. But um, who else? Um, If we talking like Majorette, Child, I say, oh, it's a lot of them. <laughs> you know what besides naming all the major dances that i love i'm gonna just put a list down right there so y'all can look at it take a second okay and that's the dances that i love hbcu wise um as far as what else what else, what else? contemporary of course all the miller but um Oh, for hip hop, I love Caitlyn Harris. Um, for heels, oh, I might have to put a list down. But <laughs> I'm gonna have to put a list, okay, of the heel dances that I love. But just Cisco, Kara Harper, Aisha Franklin. <laughs> Um, who else? Oh, uh, for the heels. Uh, <laughs> so I love heel dancing. Um, I see her face. What's her name? Um, I can't think. It's hard. You know, when you love something so much and you have so many names in your mind, like you can't get it out. Okay. Boom. That's them. Um, that's who I love. I have more, but I'm pretty sure... I can't think of it right now. <laughs> I just love so many dances that it's hard to put them all on this thing. So, um, what's some other things about? Um, about dancing, about dancing, about dancing. I'm trying to think, 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 think. Um, what? Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. What have I learned? From all my no's that I received in the dance world. So, um, I have been told no a couple of times. And the first time I was told no, it destroyed me. I never was told no before, you know. And sometimes when you never is told no, and it's not because I was thinking I'm big, like, oh, I I've never been told no. No, it's like... I would second guess myself a lot, you know, and I would I would worry so much. And God always made a way, you know, and God allowed me to make the teams that I didn't make, right? But my first no was of course because God didn't feel like, you know, either I was ready or you know, he wanted something better for me, whatever the reason was. It crushed me. Like I felt so small. Felt 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 felt, felt so small. Because I know that this is something that I love. This is something that I would. It just is. It's just everything to me. It's everything to me. It's so beautiful. Dancing is so beautiful. It's so different. It's so unique. It's so everything. And when I was told no, you know, I felt this small. 
you know? And not because I felt like, you know, I guess I had my times where I questioned myself and I was like, wow, you know, can I even do this? You know, like, am I supposed to dance? Like your first no, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> your, your first no will feel like, am I even meant to do this, you know? And then you have to take a step back and think, you know, like, well, like, why was I told no? And you can't think that, oh, you know, I'm not supposed to do what God gave me. You know, we, we forget sometimes that God is in control of our gift. Just like he gives, he can take it away. But if he's giving you a gift and he's allowing something to happen, he's transitioning you. Don't question your gift. Follow him. See where he trying to, you know, put you, where he wants you to go. And that first time I was, I, I didn't want to hear nothing, you know. I questioned myself. You know, I wondered what I did wrong. Why I wasn't doing what I wanted to do, what I love to do. Why, you know. And that time that I wasn't doing what I loved, I took a break. You know, I didn't take a break from dancing, but I took a break from people's opinion. I took a break from, you know, forcing myself to do things that wasn't just because I wanted to do it. It was because it was for other people. You know, I took a break from posting and stuff. I took a break from a lot of stuff and I focused on my craft because I never had a moment where, you know, I had a moment where I questioned my ability, but I never had a moment where I thought I'm not going to dance. I never had that moment. Like, I'm just going to stop dancing. You know, dancing is not for me. No, I never had that moment. Even when I was down and I questioned my ability, I didn't want to stop doing it. I just wanted to work harder, right? So I worked hard, I worked hard. I went and I got another no. You think that would have stopped me? You think, you think that second no made me stop dancing? I know that this is a God-given gift. Not many people have it. So when I got that second no, I said, oh, baby, it's on. Because the first, the first time, it's like, all right, you got me. Ow, that hurt. Ow, I'm down. But that second, I'm standing up. I'm rising up. I'm getting up. I'm telling y'all, that first time, I could cry. <laughs> that first time knocked me down so hard. But I refuse to let something knock me down and me not get back up. Whenever something knock me down, whenever anything knock me down, I'm going to stay down for a second. And I'm going to get myself right back up because that's not me to stay down like that. The God in me say, get up. I have more for you to do. I gave you this gift and nobody can take it from you. You got this no so you can get better for your yes. So that second time, ooh, baby, I I said, it's working time. It's not working time for nobody else but me. I'm getting better for me. I'm getting better because I know that this gift is going to take me somewhere that I don't even know. I don't even know where it's going to take me. But I know it's going to take me somewhere where I'm going to touch millions, billions, trillions. Lots of people. Because God told me to get up. This is your gift. So that second though, I was like, all right. I would, I'm not going to stop. I'm not mad at, at anybody about it. I just know that me, I love this. And it'll never stop. I love dancing. It'll never stop. And if you get told no, that's okay. But don't look at it as, okay, I got told no, so I'm going to just stop. Yeah. That's for people who, who this is not for them. This is not their calling. This is not, this is not their passion. This is their hobby. This is something that they could do whenever they feel like doing. But people who know that this is their life, that this is their gift, their God-given gift, they not going to stop soon as you say no. And I'm not that person. I'm not going to stop when you tell me no. I'm going to keep going. 
and I'm gonna keep fronting you. It's okay. No's, think of it like a bully. Think of a no like a bully. Once you get tired of a bully, what you do? Stand up for yourself. So think of those no's. You gotta know. You gotta know. That's like like a bully. No, 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 no. It's tearing you down, right? It's tearing you down. So what you gonna do? You gonna just stay down or you gonna stand up for yourself? Every no that you get, think of it. That's a bully. That's fine. Not the people. Not the people itself. Like in a negative way. In a positive way. That's my bully. And I have to face my bully. And I have to make sure that, okay, that was my no. But let's see what else God got for me so I can get to a yes. Because when I get to that yes, I have faced my bully. I have defeated my bully. Whether you go back and you try for whatever you didn't make. And you make the team. Look, you face your bully. You face what it had brought you down you face that scaredness you face that anxiety that depression you faced it because giving up is when you're not facing your bully that's when you're running away you scared you scared of your success you scared of being great so all of knows that i receive it gave me the courage the ability to want a yes so bad it's like oh i need a yes i need a yes i want a yes not for me. Yes, yes, it's, it's for me mentally, internally, spiritually. But for that next person who behind me. For that other young lady. That other um, male who want to give up on themselves. They going to see me and say, dang. She worked hard for that yes. She deserved that yes. We saw her. We saw her. And that's why I love my supporters. Because they see me. They see me when nobody else see me. They see how hard I work. They see how much time I put in. They see me. They see the growth. They see where I came from and where I'm going. They see it. So every no I receive, trust me, a yes is coming right behind it. I don't care how long I got to wait. I don't care how many no's I got to get to. It hurts. I'm not going to lie. It hurts. But let me tell you something. That yes is going to feel so much better. And I'm telling y'all right now, if you scared, if you down your ability, if you doubt your gift, because man told you no and God is telling you yes he didn't say you're not gonna do it he just said not right now he said I don't want you on that I don't want you doing that he might want you the next year on it he probably felt like okay I didn't want you in this predicament that's about to go down so guess what I'm gonna put you I'm gonna put you in when I feel that you're fit to be in it or he might want you on something else but don't go down yourself and your ability now, I know some people who, who do need to train more and, and need to get better. That's understandable. You do what you have to do and you work hard. Let's not forget that. If you know you haven't worked hard and you go try to do something, you can't be mad because you didn't put in that effort. But when you know you didn't put in that effort and you know you have the ability, then guess what? You don't let that stop you. If you letting it stop you, that was a hobby. Dancing was a hobby for you. It was in life if you let that stop you. Dancing was a hobby for you. Let me repeat that. Dancing was a hobby for you. It was not life. Dancing was something you did. It's not something you're doing. There's a difference. You did. You're not doing. So, that's the end of my speech. But I want y'all to know, don't give up on yourself. Be beyond beauty. Don't let that know defeat you. Or you gonna stay down. That's just that. That's all I have to say. Um, I just, I'm going to try to make this video short and quick, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's kind of long. But I just want y'all to remember that you guys are beautiful. Y'all y'all are amazing. Thank you guys for getting us to, you know, 100 subscribers. I am so excited. 100 subscribers. All right. But thank you guys so much for showing me love, being patient with you, girl, following me, keeping up with my videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn the notification bell so you can know when I post another video. I do Men of Mondays, We With That Wednesday, Soul Sundays, and pop-up videos. Um, you know, I try my best to get it out there. I am now a part of TLC business. So, you know, get your tea. Do everything I do. Take care of yourself. And just be a boss. And just be beyond beautiful, okay? That's all I ask. Y'all be beyond beautiful. My fellas on here, y'all be beyond handsome, okay? So thank you guys. I love y'all. I love you. And don't forget to be beyond beauty.
Bye, guys.